So let's say we want to find the coordinates of the stationary point of this curve. y cubed take away x squared equals x take away xy. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is differentiate both sides with respect to x. So d by dx of y cubed take away x squared is going to be equal to d by dx of x take away xy. Okay, so differentiate y cubed with respect to x, that will be 3y squared dy by dx. Uh, minus x squared differentiates to minus 2x. Then the right hand side, x differentiates to 1. And minus xy will have to differentiate using the product rule. So we've got minus x times the derivative of y, so minus x dy by dx. And then y times the derivative of minus x, so minus y. Now, when you're trying to find stationary points, you know that dy by dx has to be equal to 0. So I'm going to put that down. Stationary points exist when dy by dx is 0. Now, you've got two alternative strategies here. Well, let's, say, let's not call them strategies because they're not really strategies. Um, paths, shall we say, right? You've got two separate paths. Either you rearrange this to get dy by dx equals 2. Then you put that fraction equal to 0, and then the numerator is equal to 0. Okay? So I will do it that way first. So we need to get all the dy by dx's on to one side. So I'll move out all of those onto the left-hand side, everything else onto the right-hand side. We'll have the 3y squared dy by dx uh, plus x dy by dx is equal to 2x plus 1 plus, oh, sorry, take away y. Factorise the left-hand side. 3y squared plus x dy by dx is equal to 2x plus 1 take away y. And then divide both sides by this bracket. And we get our dy by dx is equal to 2x plus 1 take away y over 3y squared plus x. Okay, so that, to get your dy by dx, is one route that you can go down. Okay, and then you need to put this equal to 0 and solve. However, um, although it's perfectly fine doing that, it is quicker when you're just trying to find stationary points to say, well, OK, well, if I want dy by dx to be 0, then I can put dy by dx to be 0 now. So at this stage, I could make the terms dy by dx 0. And so what that does is that leaves me with 0 take away 2x is equal to 1 take away 0, take away y. And, of course, that is the same as putting the numerator here equal to 0. But if you go straight into that, then that saves you the worry of rearranging this incorrectly. OK? That isn't to say that this is not useful, because other problems exist where we might find some use out of that as we will see in these videos, OK? Um, but when you're doing stationary points, you know, this is a good shout. Now, with this, what you want to do is rearrange it. Um, now, you can either rearrange it to get x equals or to get y equals. It seems more reasonable to do y, so y is equal to 1 plus 2x, OK? Now, what this means is that any stationary points of the original curve lie on the line y equals 1 plus 2x. So it's kind of like, you know, if, if your curve did, you know, something like this, not, let's just have uh, two stationary points, then it's like the line that you find 
has both of those stationary points on it, essentially. Okay, that's essentially what's going on here. That's what that line represents. Now, for us, for our problem, 1 plus 2x, there is a single stationary point for this curve. Okay, so that single stationary point lies on that line. Okay, so how do I now work out where it is? Well, we want to know where this line intersects the original curve. So I substitute this into this here. So we then have y cubed, which is 1 plus 2x cubed. Take away x squared is equal to x take away x times y. So we now have to solve this equation. And in order to do that, I've got to expand these brackets out and collect like terms. So the 1 plus 2x all cubed, you could use uh, binomial expansion to do that. So that would be 1 cubed plus 3 times 1 times 2x. So 3 times 1 squared times 2x, which would be 6x, plus 3 times 1 times 2x squared, which would be 4x squared times 3, which is 12x squared. And then 2x cubed is 8x cubed. So I'm using binomial expansion to expand that bracket out. If you want to do it in more stages, then feel free to. Take away the x squared is equal to x. Take away x, take away 2x squared, expanding that out. OK, so we've got the 8x cubed. We've got a 12x squared, take away x squared, that's 11x squared. And we're going to add 2x squared, so that's 13x squared. Then we've got the 6x. Um, x take away x, they're gone, so we've just got 6x. And then we've got the plus 1. That's going to be equal to 0. So we're going to solve that cubic. So menu, uh, equation function. Um, we're going to polynomial, degree 3. Uh, we've got 8, 13, 6, and 1. So we get x is minus 1. And the other solutions are complex. So we have no more real solutions. So the only real solution is x equals minus 1. It's the only real solution. OK, so when x equals minus 1, we can work out y by substituting it straight into this one. So minus 1, 1 plus 2 lots of minus 1, is minus 1, is the stationary point. OK, and so that is how we can find the stationary point of an implicit curve. So you can either go down the route, once you've differentiated, find dy by dx and use that. Or if you're just finding stationary points, you can just substitute dy by dx equals 0 straight in, and then solve the resulting equation, and then substitute it back into the original curve, Okay, to work out where that stationary point is.